Father died saving his daughter in Michigan plane crash, family friend says he cradled her in his arms Wojan said. She doesn't remember anything, except for her daddy squeezing her so hard. The 11-year-old is the sole survivor, all of her injuries were on the opposite side of where her dad was sitting in the plane, said Wojan, who has been in close contact with Purdue's wife since the accident. From 2015, why do more kids survive plane crashes Purdue's wife wanted to be sure that everyone knew who he was and how he gave his life for his daughter Wojan said. The couple has four children, the girl, who remains hospitalized, suffered several fractures and has undergone two surgeries, but none of her injuries are life-threatening, Wojan added. Charlevoix County Sheriff Lt. William Church said the pilot was the fourth victim. He has not been identified, Lise and Kendall had recently moved to Beaver Island, authorities said. They were working to establish a vineyard on the small Upper Michigan Island in the middle of Lake Michigan, according to posts on social media. In recent Instagram posts, the couple shared photos of their dogs and flights over the island. Kate and Adam were meant for each other. They lived 20 lives in the time they knew each other. Kate was larger than life, Lise said. She wanted to experience the world. She wanted to taste it. She wanted to explore it and Adam was right there with her. Wojan flew to Beaver Island three hours before the Purdue's on the same plane. Purdue was the managing broker and co-owner of Smith Realty Group, with Wojan. He was always a giver, and was such an important part of the community Wojan said. The Federal Aviation Administration said the Breton Norman BN2P plane crashed around 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. The United States Coast Guard was conducting a training flight in the area and responded after receiving an emergency locator transmitter alert pinging them to the crash, according to a tweet from USCG Great Lakes. The FAA and the National Transportation Safety Board are investigating the cause of the crash, the FAA said. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.